Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some of the issues I saw on the Liquid Retina XDR display that came with the iPad Pro 2021. I will show you the shadow effect on the edges, the blooming effect caused by the 2500 dimming zones, IPS glow if there is any, the blacks, the contrast, HDR effect. On the left is the 2018 model, on the right is the 2021 model. The maximum brightness for this display is 600 nits. Maximum brightness for this is also 600 nits. However, on Apple's website, they say the full screen maximum brightness, the full screen maximum brightness is up to 1000 nits and the HDR brightness is up to 1600 nits. Now, from normal usage, like uh, browsing the web, uh, drawing, using drawing apps, using social media, checking emails, um, using eBay, you are probably not going to notice any difference in brightness. Maybe the new display is slightly brighter. It is slightly brighter. However, I've been using this for two and a half years, so maybe the brightness has gone down. But one good thing about this display is um, over the two and a half years, there is still no yellowing with the white, so um, that's great. All right, um, let's talk about shadow effect. Both displays are supposed to be laminated. However, the lamination here with the 2021 model, um, it's either the glass is slightly thicker or the surface of the glass is further away from the LCD beneath. The shadow effect on the 2021 model is very subtle, but once you see it, you won't be able to unsee it. I'm not sure if my camera is able to capture the effect properly. If I'm not able to capture the shadow or gradient effect, I'll just show you a photo instead. So this is the effect that is on all the four edges of the display. And this is the 2018 model. There are no shadows at the edges, no gradation. It looks like the LCD is on the glass itself. Whereas for the 2021 model, I'm not sure if you can see the gradation or the shadow here, but I can see it in real life. Here's a top view on the 2021 model. My eyes can see the shadow effect on all four sides, but I'm not sure if my camera can capture that. And with a side-by-side -side comparison with the 2018 model, I can see this display is slightly brighter. Right now, I have both displays on auto brightness. And now both displays are at maximum brightness and the whites here seem to be more white, but it's a very close fight. I'm not sure if it's because the glass is thicker or it's just that the surface of the glass is further away from the LCD beneath, but it doesn't affect parallax. There is no misalignment. When you are writing or drawing, the line still appears almost directly beneath the pen tip. There is no noticeable gap between the pen tip and the line, unless you are using a macro lens to zoom in on it. And this is the 2018 model. So there's really no difference uh, in terms of writing experience on the 2018 versus 2021. Let's take a look at backlight bleeding and whether or not there is any IPS glow or blooming effects. So this movie is The Life of Pi. It's a 4K HDR movie that I have bought on iTunes. My camera is not able to record video in extreme low light, so what you are looking at right now is actually a photo that I have taken and I have edited it to make it look as close, as similar to what I am looking at in real life. And from what I can see in real life, the black bars at the top and bottom, um, they are very black for both units, the 2018 and the 2021. There is no blooming, which is good. There is no unnatural glow, but there is also no HDR effect, even though this movie is a HDR movie. 
So earlier, both tablets were using auto brightness, and now I have adjusted the brightness on both tablets to the maximum. And on the right side here, the 2018 model, you can see there is some IPS glow at the top and bottom. So this video footage that you are looking at, it's blown out because I have adjusted the video to show you the IPS glow at the top and bottom. And on the left side, the mini LED display, you can see the blacks, they are just black. So I've reduced the exposure for the video footage. In real life, I am able to see the IPS glow. Let me show you what I'm actually looking for. So this is the same movie, Life of Pi, but this time it's playing on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this display is OLED and I can see the true HDR effect. It is noticeable. So what I'm looking for is actually the sun. So there is this reflection of the sun on the water here. On both tablets, this area here is just white, but on this OLED display, I'm not sure if you can actually see through the video footage that I have recorded, but on this OLED display, I can actually see the sun. I can see a round ball here that is just white, and then you have the colors beside. I am not able to see the sun on both tablets. I guess if you watch a lot of movies in a dark room, the black blacks would be um, fantastic, but I'm not sure if it's worth the effort if it's worth it to actually sell your old iPad Pro at a loss and then spend a few hundreds of dollars to buy a new tablet just so that you can have black blacks. Personally, I don't think it's worth it because the display from the 2018 and the 2020 models, um, they are still pretty good. Do note that the IPS glow that you see here on the 2018 and 2020 models, this IPS glow is already less obvious compared to IPS glow that you see on typical LCD monitors. Not being able to watch HDR movies in true HDR is a bummer for me because I actually um, have bought many movies from the iTunes stores and all these are just playing uh, at normal uh, brightness. The wider dynamic range that you can get on a HDR monitor or display is actually quite obvious. So for example, here is an example of a HDR movie and this area here it's just crushed into this black uh, shape. Whereas on a true HDR display, you can actually see individual strands of hair that is lit. You can see a lot of details in the shadow or darker areas. I have used a true HDR monitor before um, and I can see all those details, but not on this 2021 XDR display. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to see true HDR with all the HDR movies that I have bought on iTunes on both these tablets, but HDR works properly on the iPhone. Um, hopefully this is something an iPad OS update can fix. And what you're looking at now is actually 4K HDR video on YouTube and HDR works properly with these YouTube videos for some reason. You will not be able to see through HDR through my camera, but what I can tell you is uh, you see these areas with high contrast, the white text against a darker background, the lights here for all the neon signs. These are practically uh, glowing. It's like you can feel the light coming out from the light bulbs. Whereas for the normal LCD display on the 2018 model, um, it just looks like normal LCD. Here it really looks like the lights, they are glowing. And it's very obvious, even if you do not have another tablet side by side to compare. And because I'm looking at both displays during daytime, I am not able to see the true blacks, the black blacks or the deep blacks that people are talking about. So during daytime, both blacks, they are just black. But the HDR effect here is very noticeable regardless of 
whatever conditions you can use this tablet in bright daylight in the room at night in total darkness you will still see the hdr effect very obviously let's take a look at the blooming effect this app is procreate and i can see some blooming effect near the taskbar at the top and also on the left side for the controls basically wherever there is light there is some blooming effect so now i'm going to use apple pencil to draw something and hopefully you can see the bloom happening i can definitely see it with my eyes but i'm not sure if my camera is able to capture that accurately but there is definitely noticeable blooming effect especially if you are viewing the display in total darkness the blooming effect will happen wherever there are non-black pixels and this is how it looks when i increase the exposure for this photo but of course in real life it's not going to look like this it's more subtle there is also blooming effect for the 2018 model as well and that's in addition to the ips glow however the blooming effect is actually not as obvious compared to the 2021 model and the reason for that is because there are less local dimming zones so because of that um, the bloom is actually wider it's not localized whereas on the 2021 because there are so many local dimming zones the bloom can just attach to whatever non-black pixels there are this is daylight conditions and i'm able to see slight blooming effect around the high contrast areas but it's not as noticeable compared to using both tablets in total darkness or at night now this blooming effect during daytime is not going to be noticeable unless you are really looking out for it now with a side-by-side -side comparison i can tell the screen brightness here it's also higher mostly because the contrast level between this white and the black it's stronger let's see if you can spot any blooming I can actually see slight blooming. Yep, I can see slight blooming around the high contrast areas. This is how web pages look in dark mode. I am not able to see any IPS glow. I'm not sure if the blacks are 100% black, but there's definitely no noticeable IPS glow on both tablets. So to me, the Liquid Retina XDR display, it's kind of like a mixed bag. The shadow effect on the edges, uh, once I saw that, I mean, I cannot unsee it anymore. The blueing effect is actually not a big deal for me because, I mean, think about it. Look at your workflow. How often do you come across a situation where you have the whole display black with just uh, tiny areas of high contrast? I mean, even in this uh, settings page, you can see we have like big areas of uh, lit pixels. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say lit pixels because that applies to OLED displays. Uh, backlit pixels would be more accurate here anyway um, you can see this display huge areas are lit so with the local dimming zones are uh, basically everything is lit so you won't see like very specific blooming around the edges here so is it worth upgrading from the 2018 or 2020 model to this 2021 model with the mini led display personally for me it's a definite no or at least wait for whatever iPad OS updates that are coming. And if you guys know how to turn on the HDR effect with the iTunes movies, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys again.